Hi guys and welcome to this very first tutorial on Visual Basic. So in this very first tutorial we are going to download and install Visual Basic um, so that we can start using it and learn how to make programs using it. So first you want to open up your internet browser, I'm using Chrome, and you want to type in Microsoft Visual Basic. Then just click the first link. And we want to download the 2010 edition. So we go to 2010 Express Products. We go View Download Details. And we just want Visual Basic 2010 Express. Okay, these other versions up here and below here are for different purposes. So Visual Studio for Windows Phone is if you want to develop for Windows Phone. If you want to use C++, you get the C++ edition. If you want to use uh, C Sharp, you get the C Sharp edition. Uh, if you want to do web development, use the web developer edition. We just want the standard edition of Visual Basic. So we go English as our da download language unless you speak one of these other languages and want your um, copy of Visual Basic to use the language by default. And then we press install now. This will have our download here and it's 3.1 megabytes. Now you may think this is pretty small but um, the thing we actually download in the beginning is just a web-based installer program. So it'll guide you through the installation and it'll actually download Visual Basic itself through that process separately. So we open it, wait for it to load, and we have our installation wizard here. So this is just to help improve the setup. Um, and what this does is this, if you check it, sends some information about the uh, installation process to Microsoft. So um, I don't really care if um, you, that happens, but I mean, you might have your own personal preference there. So we click Next. We click I have read and accept the license terms. Click Next. And here we have um, some optional products that we could install. So this optional product is Microsoft SQL Server 2008 Express Pack 1. Um, I'm not going to download it at the moment, um, but if you're interested in um, making your programs and applications use um, SQL databases, uh, that could be something that you might want. Okay, uh, you can change the settings, um, such as the install folder and whatnot here. I'm just going to keep it all at as the default ones. Uh, the total download so size is 54 megabytes and the disk space is that there. So make sure you have plenty of room. Um, I recommend a gigabyte by the time you download it, install it and um, you know actually start making programs and projects. Uh, so about a gigabyte of disk space is what you need. Press install and then this will download. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the recording and um, come back once this is uh, finished downloading. Okay guys, and we are back. So what's been happening whilst you're gone is Visual Basic Express has been downloading and as you can see it's nearly done. And um, so that's just downloading the software off the internet. What it's doing now is it's installing Visual Basic Express. Now, whilst it's doing this, it may ask you to um, give uh, administrator authorization, which is where uh, a box will come up and just say, you know, are you sure you want to install the program? Um, and this shouldn't take very long. Uh, I shouldn't have to pause it, um, but, you know, we'll see. Also, with Visual Basic Express um, 2010, even though it is free, you do have to um, register within a 30-day period after installing. Um, 
and obtain a free product key for ongoing use after 30 days. So basically what that means is you just need to create a free account with Microsoft if you haven't already done so, um, or use your Hotmail account, I think also works. Um, and you just sort of log in and they send you a free, a free um, product key to your email so you can use it. Um, so now it's finished installing here. Um, visit Microsoft Update to download the latest service packs and security updates. Uh, so we go exit. Now we can close that. We'll just minimize it for the minute. And then we can go to the start menu. Just type in Visual Basic. Got caps lock on, sorry. Um, Visual Basic. And we have Visual Basic 2010 Express. Okay, so when you first open it, it'll load some user settings. Um, this shouldn't take more than a couple of minutes. Okay then. So now this is the main Visual Express screen. Um, and this is the programming environment where most of your coding is going to happen. So this is sort of the start screen or your starting point when you open the program. You've got some um, tutorial type video video and um, content related things. You've got um, upgrade an upgrade link if you want to buy Visual Studio, um, which is like a $500 piece of software. So, I mean, if you're a beginner, I wouldn't recommend doing that now. Uh, you've got the latest news, um, which is an RSS feed uh, and all that. And then you've got these options here. New project, open project, and recent projects, uh, which will appear once you've created your first project. Um, so when we go and make our first project, we want to hit new project. But we're going to do that in the next tutorial. So that's it for now. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed it, please like, comment, or subscribe.